Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Alia Zakirah binti Azmi, metric number of F17800070. I would like to present about my thesis which entitled Morphometric Characteristics and Language Relationship of Matcrepsila Paramamosin in Kochobaru, Kelantan. Basically, my thesis is about the study of shape variation of organs and organisms and its co-variation with other variables. In this study, I will focus on the matcrep species. Here are the important content I will share about in the presentation. There are three types of macrep species can be found in Malaysia, which are S. oliwasia, S. paramamosin, and S. tranke barica. They can be found in mangrove area within different environment diversity and water salinity, which is suitable for their growth. Several methodologies are used to identify the macrep species and to study the population management, such as morphometric uh, analysis and morphological characteristics. As paramamosin will be the focus of the research because there is lack of the study uh, about this species, particularly in Kochobaru, Kelantan. The results of the study will give additional information on the morphometric characteristics and the length to weight relationship of my crab as paramamosin in Kochobaru, Kelantan. Thus, this will help a better population management of mud crab species in Kochobaru, Kelantan. The research of S. paramamosin in Kochobaru, Kelantan is scarce, so the lack information about the population management of mud crab will lead to the over-exploitation. This can lead to the insufficient source of aquaculture food supply in Kochobaru, Kelantan. The overcrabbing can occur as to fulfill the demand of the customer because the mud crab is the seafood delicacies. Here are the objectives of the study. The main objective of the study is to identify the population of Macrat as paramamosin in Kochobaru, Kelantan. For the hash null, there is no difference, while for the hash alternative, there is a difference between the morphometric characteristics and the length to weight relationship of S. paramamosin in Kochobaru, Kelantan. From my literature review, I found that there are four types of macrep species can be found in the world. The three species are as I stated before and the last one is Escherata. Their availability are depends on the water salinity and the environment diversity for their growth. From the previous studies, the researchers emphasized the importance of morphometric analysis, morphological analysis, and the which are linked to weight relationship to reveal the population of fish and crustacean. The mathematical length to weight relationship gives information on the general well being of individuals, variation in growth uh, according to sex, and extra. Here was my workflow for the study, starting from the collection of sample to performing of a data analysis to get the result. The picture shows some of the procedure of weighing and measurements of uh, morphometric characters on the S. paramamosin. A total of 30 mud crabs were collected from the Sungai Tokjal at Kampung Gong Tengah, Kotobaru, Kelantan. The mud crabs were in complete body parts before the morphometric and weighing activities begin. The mud crabs were uh, released back into the basin after the data collected. The researchers usually using these morphological features to identify the mud crab species. While for the gender identification, the mud crab can be distinct by the abdomen width. The female mud crab has a wider abdomen width rather than uh, the male. From this table, Asparamamosin has triangular and moderately high frontal loop spine, while the inner uh, carpus spine absent and the outer reduced, while the propodus spine is obviously can be seen. For the morphometric analysis, there are 24 characters that need to be made sure as stated on the slide. The morphometric characters are divided into five to ease the measurement activities. I use uh, Microsoft Excel 2016 to perform the statistical analysis. The statistical analysis included were uh, descriptive statistics, linear regression, and a t-test. 
For the linear regression, as stated, the equation was used to determine the relationship between the different morphometric characters in males and females mud crab, while the equation was log transformed to investigate the carapace width or length to a weight relationship. By plotting the linear regression graph, the elementary relationship of mud crab can be obtained. This is one of the graph for the male mud crab. The table shown is about the equations and the correlation coefficient values between different variables in male. In the table, we can see that there are two interrelationships uh, that have B value above 1, while the others have the B value below 1. This is one of the graph for the female mud crab. From the table, we can see that the all interrelationship between the variables have B value below than 1. The B value shows the elementary growth pattern as stated above. In most cases, the relationship was negative in both sexes and highly significant in males than females. The pattern is different in males and females of S. paramamosin because the growth is influenced by the external and internal factors. To investigate the carapace link to weight relationship, the linear equation was log transformed. The graph was plotted and the result is shown as stated here. The carapace length to weight relationship for the combined sexes is 2.8546, which is below than 3. From the study, the B value of carapace length to weight relationship in males, females and combined sexes were in range of 3 within a high R square value. This can be supported by a previous study as it stated that the value of B will be 3 for an ideal organism. Therefore, it was assumed that the growth of S. parmesan is allometric. After performing T test, the result showed carapace width or length to uh, weight relationship in males and females of S. parmesan are highly significant at alpha equal to 0 0.05 level. The sex ratio of male to female are as stated on the slide. The mean size of carapace length and the weight in male is much higher than in female. The shallow propodus length and weight in males also are much bigger than the female. This is because the males need to protect the females during and after the mating season, while the shellar in females are uh, reduced as they need to utilize the energy for the egg production. The previous study stated that the carapace width of the young juniors of Macrat is below 30 mm, while the larger juniors is in range of 40 to 100 mm. From the study, there are 20 larger juniors of S. paramamosin collected. The range width is between 70 to 132 gram. The relation between width and length show high R square, which means the high closeness of association. If the width is known, the width or length could be computed approximately. Consequently, weight macrabs do not need to be measured anymore. There is a difference between the morphometric characteristics and length to weight of S. paramamosin in Cochabaru, Kelantan, thus the null hypothesis is rejected. The R square obtained from the graph will show the pattern of association between the interrelationships of morphometric characters. The results of interrelationships between the morphometric characters will be useful in comparing the different stocks of the same species at different geographical locations. The results of the relationship between the carapace width and width enables the length scylla to be estimated. The mud crab caught which under the size limits can be returned to the habitat. The population of mud crab can be conserved if there are proper population management and can be applied by effectively by the fisheries. Therefore, the population and conservation of S. paramamosin in Cochabaru, Kelantan can be ensured. That's all from me. Thank you.